Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Um, BAM box, it's a December box, actually getting it in December, which is awesome. I kind of assumed we probably wouldn't just because it's, um, you know, since it's December, the packages probably will end up taking more time to get where they need to go. But it made it in December, and that's awesome. That's great. Uh, I'm, at the moment when I'm shooting this, I'm not sure if this is the December regular band box or if it's the December horror band box because, as you can see, I have another box over here and they both just say BAM. So they usually have a sticker that says horror, so I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully one of these is my horror box and one of them's the regular and they're not just both regular, but we'll figure that out. Um, the name of this video on YouTube will be correct, whether it's the regular or the horror, but as I'm getting into this, I'm gonna have to figure, <laughs> figure out which one it is. But I should know with the first item because I do remember some of the, um, some of the franchises that are supposed to be in here. Which, by the way, speaking, <coughs> excuse me, speaking of the franchises and how they do things, um, I think typically the franchises they pick are really good now, and I think that's mainly since they got away from doing the actual like themed boxes. So I've been a lot happier since they got away from that because sometimes I felt like they were just like shoehorning things in and getting like kind of stupid franchises just because they needed to fit a theme. So really glad they ended up going this way. Also, I do kind of um, talk negatively about some of the items that we get. Like sometimes I'll say I don't really like that, you know, things like that. But the thing is, I'm going to be honest on this. But I, and I will say overall, I really love the BAM box. I tell people about it all the time. I'm always excited to get it. So I'm a, I'm a big fan. It's just whenever I'm negative on here, I'm just being honest about my really really my feelings about the box and individual items so but anyway um oh by the way yes this is a shirt that it says i'll never stop pooping and it's got a rainbow coming out of a dog's butt i usually only wear it around the house but you know you guys get to see it now which my wife will be kind of embarrassed about all right not looking at this got tissue paper on top for my cat she really actually gets super excited when she gets new tissue paper so she likes that I get the BAM box, and two of them, even better. All right, so the first thing I'll let's see if I have, if I can feel like I have any one-ups or any, I uh, might have a one-up. Yeah, I got a one-up, very nice. And I know something about, there were additional items added, like a potential additional item added to the regular one and additional items added to the horror one so I'll let you know when I figure out which this is what is additional for it but yeah we got something upgraded got a one up <coughs> excuse me uh, did I get okay so here's the first thing oh okay as I pull it out I believe this is the um, this is the regular BAM box I just figured out so so people know before I show you this the original BAM box uh, they were like randomly putting in Star Wars autographs uh, for the month of December so it's not like anything huge like Mark Hamill or, you know, Adam Driver or uh, Daisy Ridley or anything like that. It's just like, you know, who did the animatronics for Job of the Hutt or, you know, things like that. Like when they had the BB-8 uh, autograph, it was just the guy who, you know, did the uh, animatronic work for him. So, all right. So this is the regular band box and this item is, I don't understand why, but... Okay, it's a million dollar bill. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But it's the Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, it looks good, but like, what's the significance? It says, this note serves to commemorate Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, who pioneered the first Christmas in Halloween Town. Okay, I guess I kind of get what they're trying to do there. As you can see, like, there's Pumpkin Patch over here. There's Jack and... Damn it, forget her name, Jack. And then on the other side, there's Zero. Boogie Boogie and the Trick or Treaters, all that. I mean, it's designed well, it looks good, but I mean, what's the, I guess some people really like this. It's not, I mean, the design's good enough, so, you know, I just think it's kind of a weird item. That That's a personal thing. All right, here's a proper replica, what if I assume. <clears throat> okay, I'm probably not gonna like. <coughs> excuse me, allergies and head drainage. I'm probably not gonna like this because this is an item for Supernatural, and I just don't watch Supernatural. So, 
that's disclaimer on why I'm probably not going to enjoy this. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's a, yeah, it's a, um, necklace, and looks like some sort of totem. There's the back of it. I'm sure it has some sort of, like, mystical powers in the show, but I don't really care for it. I don't wear necklaces in the first place, and like I said, I don't follow Supernatural, so... But I know a lot of people who love it, so that might be a good item for people who are into Supernatural. Here's a large box. Oh. This isn't... <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is for a Christmas story. Um, I was kind of wondering if we were going to get something like this. So this is something they literally just like went out and bought that's not exclusive. Like Usually Bambox does exclusives, but this is not an exclusive. So it's from Christmas Story, it's the leg lamp. Oh no, there's like shredded paper in here. Which is how, um, it's very similar to how the actual leg lamp showed up in the Christmas Story movie. So, oh, there you go, it's like a little replica of the leg lamp. Uh, I mean, it's cool, I like it, I'll keep it. I've kind of seen this before, being sold at places like Barnes & Noble and stuff, and been like, I'll get it. There we go. And you probably can't even tell. Well, maybe, yeah, there it's off. It's on. Off. There you go. Okay. That's not bad. Like, I'm fine with it. I just think it's kind of weird that it's not like a Bambox exclusive thing because they pretty much always do exclusive stuff. But whatever. All right, the pin. <laughs> I love it. This pin is awesome, actually. I'm very happy about this pin. You know, people who watch my unbox I'm having a hard time getting this open. People who watch my unboxing videos know that I'm a huge fan of the Bambox pins because they look so good and I enjoy collecting the pins. This one is for um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I don't know why I couldn't come up with that sooner. I love that movie. Um, and this was my upgrade, my one up. I got out of 250. These are only 250 made. Look, it's Randy Quaid's character, Uncle Eddie, and he's got the cigar in his mouth, the toque on, saying shitter's full. Which, <laughs> I mean, the quality's awesome. That's really funny. I really like this pin. Very, super glad to have that. Um, although it's funny because that quote is incorrect. Like, people say all the time shitter's full, but he says shitter was full because he's emptying it and he sees the neighbors. He's like, shitter was full. So, shitter's full is not the real quote. Just the, I don't care, that's fine. But it's just funny that people recognize it as shitter's full when it's not the actual quote. But anyway, um, all right, next item. This is the no, 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 piece of fan art by Steve Gellinter, or Gellinter. And it's, oh my, this is funny. Actually, this is funny, and I like this. It's called High on Life Splendor. This is their Deadpool 2 item. Which, it's Deadpool 2 item because there have been some teaser trailers that have come out for Deadpool 2 uh, with Ryan Reynolds and they've been pretty funny. And this one plays, this art print plays directly off one of those where he was dressed up as Bob Ross. It's Deadpool as Bob Ross. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? With like a nice landscape with mountains, snowy mountains up there. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. I got number 1,005 out of 2,000. <laughs> that's funny I like that oh by the way I'm kind of curious about what number I got on this out of 250 pin number 23 out of 250 just curious I got a um, if you haven't seen my it expansion unboxing I got a 1 out of 350 it was cool anyway that art print's cool next must be the autograph Oh, no way. Deep Roy. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, what is this from? What movie is this? Is that Star Trek? Oh. Yeah, okay. So this is a guy... Okay, Deep Roy. People probably don't really know his name. And you're, you're not going to know what he looks like based off of this. But he played, like, all the Oompa Loompas in the newer version of uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I forget which version. 
it's called. Well, there's Simon Pegg in there. This must be from Star Trek. And there's Deep Roy playing an alien. So Bambox had said that they were going to have four different franchises that Deep Roy's been from. Although they didn't tell you who it was. But they said whoever's doing the autograph, there'll be four separate franchises so you could get one of four. So not excited that I got this one just because I'm not a huge Star Trek person. But the more recent movies were good. Like I enjoyed them, but I'm not like a huge fan. But, you know, um, actually if I can kind of show you. There's a picture of Deep Roy. See, if you recognize him, he's very recognizable from the things he's been in. Except for Star Trek, apparently, where he was this alien where you can't tell who he is. <laughs> so, I think that's it. Yep, empty box. Wish my cat will like that, too. She likes getting in boxes, which is pretty typical of cats. Okay, so overall for this box, um, love the pin. Love the pin. Uh, autograph. I, I just wish I got a different one. Uh, if I got, like, the Charlie and Chocolate Factory one, I would have liked it quite a bit. It would have been cool. This art print's really cool. Really like that. The leg lamp, it's not an exclusive, but I like it. It's cool. It's a good idea. Uh, don't really care about the Supernatural replica, just because it's not my thing. And I just think the Nightmare Before Christmas million dollar note is kind of weird. So... They've started doing no booklets for uh, Bambox. They've been putting all their stuff online for the booklets. Just want to keep them all digital at the moment. So let me try and find these, which sucks because I'll have to go through it. <coughs> uh, here we go. The spoiler sheet. And this is what sucks. Like I'd like to have like the actual just sheet, please, but whatever. So, page one, uh, they got the information about the, sh the dollar note. This novelty bill is a great addition to any collection. I don't understand why. I don't need to show it to you because it's just showing the same thing. Okay, the different pins you could have gotten. Uh, the normal pin <coughs> looks like it was just... Um, shit, why am I blanking on his name? Griswold, the, ma the main character, Chevy Chase's character from... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Him with the Santa hat on. The the 250 done was the Shitter's Full one that I got. And then the 500 limited one was like those little eggnog moose mugs. Here you can see. Pretty cool, right? I like it. Those are good pins. Good pins, good pins. Uh, a few variations on the art print, as you can see. Like, that, oh, that one's actually really awesome. The out of 250 with the unicorn and the afro. That's so cool. Uh, this one's, uh, that one's like crystal. Wait a minute. I got the out of 500. Okay, my art print was limited edition too. So this is what was the normal one. It's just like kind of crystallized ice. Then there's the landscape, which is out of 500, which I got. And then the unicorn one out of 250. I would like the unicorn one because that's pretty funny. It's cool though. Um, then they have the thing about the leg lamp, su supernatural amulet. Okay. And really that's it. Okay, so overall, um, whoop, oh, that stuck to me. <laughs> overall, I like it. I do like it. This is a good box. This is a good regular box. Um, I mean, just the, the print, the pin, and the little leg lamp. Awesome, totally down with it. So cool, um, another good BAM box, we'll see. Uh, actually, I'm gonna obviously do this one right now since I have it sitting right here. So if you're watching this and you didn't see my unboxing of the horror BAM box, check out that video as well, which will be up at the same time. So check it out. Thank you for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.